author and Harvest favorite Jay Payleitner joins us all this week here on the show as we talk about five days for dads leading up to Father's Day, getting some uh, little insights and tidbits and life lessons from uh, the man right here <laughs> on how to be a good dad and how to really take advantage of the little moments in life that allow us to make those impressions, those teachable moments in the lives of our children. Yeah, sometimes we think it's the big things. And, and you know what, dads, we need to have mountaintop experiences. Mm -hmm. Go on mission trips with your kids and, and take them on amazing family vacations. But it's those little moments in life that really are going to add up to a, a relationship that you can count on for, for decades and generations to come. Yeah. And what I've gathered just these first couple days here, Jay, yeah. and I'm sure the kind of theme is going to continue too, is that, you know, that, that you spell love, T-I-M-E, oh, and yeah. you know, that whole adage of, well, is it quality time versus quantity time? I think it's just time that makes the, a big difference, mm. doesn't yeah. it? Well, it's, it's all about entering your kid's world and mm -hmm. sometimes inviting them to enter your world. Mm. Um, and we've got our little, our little lessons here, our little object lessons. Can I jump right into this? Yeah. And what do we Cat got money, there? I'm sure you can see oh, this. Yeah. Uh, there you go. We know what this is. Yep. This is an inflating needle. And, uh, uh, the shortest chapter in my book, 52 Things Sons Need from Their Dads, is, is 52 chapters. But the very shortest one is always, always have an inflating needle handy yeah. um, because sometime, guaranteed, sometime you've got a son at home in the next three or four years, mm -hmm. maybe today, maybe three years from now, he's going to be wanting to play basketball or, or soccer, soccer or, or volleyball or, 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 or something. something in uh, football in your side yard, and he's going to come to you with a deflated Mm -hmm. Severe. It's been in the garage all winter. <laughs> right, there you go. <laughs> and, and they'll have the pump, but they won't right. have this magical little inflating needle, and the, you want them to come to you. Mm -hmm. Because that's what we want our kids to do, is to come to us. And you're gonna, you, can, you can do this without a word. Oh, Dad, do you have an inflating needle? And you go to your, your uh, uh, cufflink cup, or your front door, your, your desk, or some place, a coffee can in your workshop, and you pull it out and you just hand it to him, mm -hmm. and you are the hero. Now, he yeah. might not say, Dad, uh, he probably will say at that point, Dad, Dad you're thanks. the best. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, of course, the metaphor there is, yes, always, and total instruction, go out, dads, and get an inflating needle today so you have it in case you need it. Mm -hmm. But really, it's all about... Um, you want to anticipate their needs, mm -hmm. know them well enough to anticipate their needs, and uh, be ready when the time comes, when they come to you with a tough question yeah. or a problem. If you can help them be the solution, yeah. then you're the hero, and they'll come to you later and later when the, t when the, when the odds are, uh, the stakes are higher. Yeah, and that can, I mean, boy, that, that's a good metaphor, but boy, I can think of several <laughs> things right now, like a USB cable or HDMI <laughs> oh, cord. There you or, go. Right. Here, put this in your pocket, and there you go. You can keep that for later. <laughs> yeah, okay. Very good. <laughs> good. Uh, so it really is important to, to anticipate, anticipate and, and, and know what, uh, what yeah. they might be yeah. coming up against.